another edition of Do Your Damn Self. I'm Tim. And I'm James. And what we're doing today is a quick and simple project, but can make a big difference in your heating or cooling bill. We are sealing the wall plates on the external walls yes. with foam and then also gasket uh, insulators that will help keep air from flowing in because we noticed this winter with all the crazy weather we were having that we were getting some crazy drafts through the plates on the outside walls, mm -hmm. especially the north facing walls. Yeah, all outlets and light switches. And it's really cheap and inexpensive to do. Uh, a pack at Home Depot for the foam insulating pads will cost you uh, just Less under $3, $3. Yeah. and it covers like 20 or something plates. It's this right here. It's electric outlet and switch sealers by Frost King. It's a variety pack. It, as you can see, it gives you uh, eight outlets, four switches, and two decorative outlet slash switches which is what we have right here, the decorative outlet slash switches. So this will be the gasket we use for that style plug. And it's just a, a vinyl foam type gasket. But first, to really do the job right, we're also going to want a can of great stuff. Gap and Cracks Foam Sealant. Yes. Now this, these cans are one use only, so be sure when you start, you're ready to plow right on through using this stuff because once it sets in the tube, it's done. First of all, what you want to do is kill the power for safety to the outlets and switches you're going to be working on. Right. Then get your trusty screwdriver and remove the plate. And what you're going to look for are any gaps in between the sheetrock and the uh, outlet box that's inset in the wall. This one does not have any, so it will be good just to use the gasket on. And what that does is goes around like that, and then the plate goes on top and seals the seams of the plate around the outlet face and the wall, the seam around the wall. You can see one we've already foamed it's set, and it's been trimmed, and it's ready also for the gasket and the plate. So, that's pretty much it. You just foam it, let it set, you just stick it in the crevices and foam it, let it set, trim excess off, slap on the insulator, and slap on the plate. So, little tip, wear gloves, because this stuff, once it gets on your skin, it only peels off. And it peels off your skin. But that's all it was. It cost us about 20 bucks for all the stuff to do Everything all else. the exterior outlets and switch plates. Right. And next time we have a hella cold front, we should see how well it does. And it'll also help keep your air conditioning cooled air inside your house. Yes. Because, as you know, any kind of leaks will suck the yeah, air right is, out. This is a year-round fix. This will keep hot air out in the summer and cold air out in the winter. Yeah. So that's a real quick do-it-yourself tip that you can do it your damn self at home. And it'll save you some money, and it's pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. Oh, one one further tip: uh, the packs that we saw at Home Depot uh, were multi packs only, yeah, and yeah, we talked about that. They're the variety packs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were the variety packs only? So we're actually modifying them because all of our light switches are actually the decorative plate light switches. Yes. So you can use the ones that come with it as a template to modify the existing ones if your light switches don't match. So really you have a blank template to make these whatever you want them to be. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it for Do It Your Damn Self this time. We'll see you next time.